How are we all doing? Welcome to this Enlight Video Leap tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple teal and orange LUT that you can use on your videos. So I've just got a stock video clip in my timeline. And as you can see, we have a lot of um, a lot of orange tones in the bottom right hand corner and then a lot of blues in the water in the sky but oranges in the building so it will just work nicely and show you really emphasize the teal and orange look and it's really really simple to do this and um, I'm gonna keep my um, timeline halfway through just so I can show you before and after on the timelines because wherever you are in the timeline when we apply a filter that's where the filter is gonna drop in so Without anything selected, I've just got my timeline in the center. I've not got it selected. There's not a white bar around it. There is now. I'm going to deselect it. I then get this filters at the bottom, and I'm going to just press the filter. And you can see right away it defaults to the first filter within the filters um, sort of tool set, which is a nice teal and orange look, as you can see here. But we're just going to adjust it by... Um, going to the presets on the bottom right hand side and you can see we've got this HL1 in the bottom left hand corner we're just going to use the HL2 it's a bit more of a teal it's a bit more you have a bit more blue in this than you do in teal but we can address that in a minute okay so we can adjust the intensity of this little or, or color profile if you like or filter by swiping up and down so I'm gonna click the two arrows that takes me back a menu and then I'm gonna click them again and it takes me even further back. And what this allows me to do is go to this adjust panel. Now in the adjust panel, I can now, I'll get the menu bar open for my exposure contrast and all of the good adjustment tools that you use. Um, and we're just gonna emphasize some of the darker areas to make the teal and orange effect a little bit more prominent. So let's go to exposure first and let's just ramp up the exposure a little bit so it makes everything a little bit brighter in the video. And then let's go contrast. Now if we go to the right contrast, you're gonna darken and sharpen all the darker areas um, and it just helps these corners of the buildings in this video, helps that stand out a little bit, okay? And then brightness, we're gonna leave the brightness alone. Um, we could have used brightness as opposed to um, exposure. In this instance, there's not too much difference. Um, saturation, now, with a saturation, we can really ramp up the intensity of the teal and orange, and that's probably what we want to do. Just take it up a, a, a few notches, and again, with LUTs and color profiles and color color grading, it's all down to personal preference. So don't worry about what you want to do. What you want to do, as long as it looks, looks okay to you, then, then that's okay. Warmth, we want to just ramp the warmth up a bit, just so it makes it a little bit more, obviously the warmth is going to be yellow tinge, which is close to the oranges. It's just going to warm everything up a little bit. Tint, we don't want to mess with the tint. Um, hue, we don't want to mess with the hue. Offset, if we drag the offset to the left, it's going to darken the image or darken the video. And if we drag it up to the right, it's going to blow out all of the exposure white. So just be aware of that with the offset. And then that's as far as we want to go with the exposure. That's our um, our teal and orange effect. So I've just moved this effect, the adjustments that we've just down, done, down a little bit. Or we can move them over to the left so we see what it was like before, which is the video here. And if I click play, we then get just the adjustments. And you see everything's blown out with the adjustments. So I've brightened everything up a little bit and sharpened things down a little bit. And then we get the filter come in. So then with a the filter, it drops to that teal and orange. And it's just a good way of checking what you've done individually of um, of filters and adjustments. So if I see what we've done with a filter first, let me drag that down a little bit. Um, drag this adjustment down. So here, we can see that we've got that orange and teal effect. Now, do I prefer it with my adjustments or do I prefer it without? Let's look. We go into the adjustments. I prefer it a little bit with the adjustments, but I'd just like to take the brightness or the exposure. Remember, we did the exposure. I'd just like to take that down a notch or two, and then let's have a look again with the adjustment, or sorry, with the filter, and then let's have a look with the adjustment as well. 
So that brightens it up a little bit, sharpens everything, and I'm happy with that. If we wanted to drag more oranges or more blues into this um, as well, we could just do that with a tone lab. If you're unsure what I'm talking about with a tone lab, I think there's a video you will see on the screen somewhere right now, and it shows you how to use the tone lab. Just go to the oranges and the blues and ramp up the saturation in those, and then you might just need to change the intensity. So I hope this has helped you out. Good teal and orange. Remember, you can use that initial um filter that we first looked at hl1 i think it was but um but yeah there you go teal and orange effect really simple really effective catch you soon